Future Grain series is seven weeks away and Matt Poole has his sights set on claiming the mantle of Australia's best Ironman. Pooley and some of our other top Ironmen were in their racing attire this afternoon, but not on the beach. This time it was in the name of charity. The Nutrigrain Ironman series always has the coolest athletes. Some of the nation's best got in their racing gear, all in the name of a good cause. Called in a favour and he said it's all for the Heart Foundation, so we had to come out in our speedos and wash some cars. The guys here look like they're doing a really great job. They said they've been really busy. Seven weeks away from round one at Surfers Paradise, they're all catching one man. We can't look past Shannon, you know, he's won six titles now and he's looking for a seventh. He's hungry and every time I see him he looks fitter and stronger. Mahulabar's Matt Poole finished second last year after a disastrous 2009 campaign. It was tough mentally and physically for me, so I had to go back through the trials and, and fight my way back into the series. Finishing third in the Coolangatta Gold six weeks ago, Alex Tibbetts is primed for a crack at the title. Yeah, more mental confidence. Um, heaps of these races in the series are much, lo much longer and um, just, yeah, feeling more confident going up against the big boys. Cult hero Ali Day burst on the scene in 09, finishing sixth as a 19-year-old. He recently changed clubs and couldn't be happier with the move north. We're down here at the car wash and uh, with our shirts off and stuff like that. You definitely couldn't do that on the south coast of New South Wales. Alex Chamberlain, 7 News. I thought I saw your limousine go through there. I was wondering where you were this afternoon, Bruffy. Yeah, whatever. I think some of the boys might have been showing off. What do you think? Mate, they're the only ones who can get away <laughs> with it, so good luck to them. Yep, well, good idea. Thank you. Uh,